Immortal George here, and I have something special for you today. A build that pretty much makes you what my namesake is. Immortal. So let's go into the game and I will show you what it's all about. So if we go look at my gear, I'm not using any weapons. Except range weapons. And then if we go to training, we're using a commando as our tank. He has unarmed skill maxed out and a little bit of rifle damage. Now the crux of what we're doing is that when you have the the mercenary with the, the training that he's got, you gain 15 health per attack. So for the skills to show the strength of the build, I'm not going to be using mass calm or anything like that. The only thing I'm using is dental work. I'm not using fire. I'm not using spike trap. None of that. So the main crux of the build is this retaliation card here, along with that unarmed. So a 50% chance to counter when you parry the enemy. Commandos naturally have a lot of parry. I have 75% chance on my commando. Now we combine this with quick learner. Now I can have a 100% chance on a parry. So I'm going to be cycling quite a bit. And we're going to take off this execute here. And we're going to get rid of Viper. So no no cheating. All right, and that's basically the build. I'm just I just have everything maxed out here. We don't need the field ammo probably. But we'll keep it just in case. You see what my leaders have. We just have the uh, retribution, natural leader, leadership. So just kind of the regular stuff. No funny business here. We have three leaders, one commando, one tactician. And I'm going to throw us into a horde. Try not to die, okay? And we will see how it goes. All right, we started off with uh, Breach and Enemy Assessment. I will go with Breach first. This uh, we do have this. We'll just throw it on this guy right before he dies. Got this for free. Excellent. We got the first key piece that we need already. You know, because this guy really just needs to get blown up. That point, yeah. I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Poor guy. Poor guy. Wow, we're getting really lucky with the study of the caves, aren't we? That's only a 5% chance. I should be gambling. Alright, we'll put Nobu in next. And then we'll throw a uh, natural leader into our card pool. So this thing should die next turn, so we'll just go ahead and derage it. And I do have gas canisters on, so I'm just going to throw these in my backpack whenever I have spare AP. I'm not going to use them. Greetings, friend. Excellent, we got the second piece already. So we're going to throw both of these people in, get the quick learner, and then we're just going to keep stabbing. Oops, wrong person. I didn't really want to see that ammo go into my hand, unfortunately. I think next turn we'll get five points, though, so it should be fine. But we, have we noticed, Dern is already up to 600 health. Uh, let's get rid of this retaliation first. Let's do that. We'll do the tactician and the second retaliation. And there we go. Now we have our guy at 75% parry already with 100% retaliation on parry. So now he's going to start shooting. He's going to gather all the aggro to him. I'm going to try to kill these gas tanks with my guys so they don't get set on fire. And then we'll start blasting. So his health is already approaching 700. Uh, 
There we go, 720. And it's just gonna go up and up and up. Uh, we will grab Swift Retribution next. We'll use Natural Leader. Gain a little bit more attack power. Pop that. Slide this away because we don't need it. These guys, I said, will punch these people. Hopefully I don't throw the grenade and blow this guy up. Alright, then we'll Retribution, or Swift Retribution, and just keep punching. We are at 7, what, 20? Oh, we took a big hit there. But that's fine. Seven twenty to eight forty seven. I think he's doing a okay. Push this button, slap him some ammo. I'm not gonna push this button yet. We're just gonna let it stack up. Why not? And uh just to make it a little bit harder on myself, I'm going to initiative and make these guys max fully rage. Why did that guy explode? Sure. So we're just going to punch this person until he was enraged. Okay, he should fully enrage when he fires on us next time. And we will enter. So we are at 847, I believe. Now we're just gonna watch as he climbs. Ow, they're actually getting through his parry. Ooh. We're getting kind of mega unlucky right now, aren't we? But that's okay. So after all that, a fully enraged board, except for this guy. 28 damage, 3 times over. 33 damage, 3 times over. 24 damage, 3 times over. 30 damage, 3 times over. 20 damage, 3 times over. 23 damage, 3 times over. 20 damage, 3 times over. And all that happened... ...was he lost 50 health. That's pretty good, I would say. Alright, we will start killing... I don't know, somebody. Because I want to get through the rest of the stack to get to the boss. And we will uh, shoot you. So 784 I believe is what we had. Ooh. They're getting a lot of crits on me right now, aren't they? Jeez. My poor guy is getting mega unlucky. But it's still fine. Uh, we are running really low on stamina. So I need to Alright, we'll just go ahead and uh, just toss this on someone here. You can have it. And then uh, we'll start working on you. No downside is I am bleeding and I have 1,230 health. This is gonna hurt. Ow. So that like what, 615? So all that pain and suffering he just went through, he's back to 781. So 
the initiative to stamina back up. Alright, his stamina is back up. And we will keep slapping. And we will shoot this one. Oh. Alright, he's at 781. Let's see what happens now. He lost 73 from the <laughs> from the bleed. Oh, that's so painful. I could clear the bleed, but I'm not going to. I believe he did gain health even after losing his health to that bleed. Oh, I thought it would give me the kitty cat card. I was wrong. We will worry about these cards later. For now, I need to stab. That's a lot of missing. And uh, you got the most. Whatever, I'll do that to you. Ouch. I didn't even notice how much he just lost from that bleed. It was probably a gargantuan amount, though. But he's working his way back up the health ladder. It's fine. All right, what do we got here? Some uh, some food. Give him a little. T so he has 1,770 health right now, mind you, and this food is going to give him 88 health. I really don't want to see that <laughs> that that bleed hit him. It's gonna hurt so much. Uh, who gets this? You. And now we'll initiative his stamina back. All right, who gets stabbed? You. You get stabbed. We'll let you get counter killed by him. And then you will do damage to you. Uh oh, I got to Eighty nine damage from the bleed. All right, what's this card? That could be worse. I it got worse. So as you can see, he's just incredibly hard to kill right now, even with that massive bleed damage propping on him every turn. He's almost up to a thousand health. I mean, current health, not max health. There you go, he's over a thousand. Let's get a little bit more damage, why don't we? More damage, more damage, more damage. He has 2,000 health overall, and he's still losing 5% of his health at the end of every turn. So every turn, he's losing 200 health currently, which we could solve, but not going to. I'm not allowed to fix it. We'll let him die to the retaliation damage, and we'll try to shoot this one to death. Oh, you only lost 100. Right. It's not 10%, it's 5%. I can't read. You can't expect me to read. So this is going to be a long fight. So we'll initiative. We're going to start pulling that stack in. We're no cowards here. We don't care about the boss getting strong. Alright, there we go. And now we start to... Uh... Who do we stab? This guy? This guy. Because we don't want this to move over here so we get burned on the boss. There we go. 109 damage from a bleed. Uh, 
This does absolutely nothing currently. At all. Uh, we will stab you. And we'll do that. Ah, they're still all going to him? Okay. How many turns left on that bleed? Four turns left? 113 bleed. Uh, dental work and will initiative so I try not to hit the boss with this because I do want to just shoot one of these people I love this little number popping up all right who is it gonna be roulette it shot the boss Alright, everyone's targeting him. Good luck. Look look how low it makes his health look in that little bar that pops up. Push the button. Initiative. Initiative. Okay, this one needs to die because he heals. And turn. 126 bleed. Their aggro is kind of all over the place, isn't it, right now? I guess Nick wants to get punched, okay. This will be easy. I will throw this out there, this does nothing, I'm just gonna show you. It even though it's at two hundred percent right now, you you don't get double attacks. It'd be funny if it worked that way. I completely forgot who was attacking. Who's attacking? Oh he's dead. And the leader, the leaders are what's making me doing more and more damage the longer this goes on. So the longer the fight goes on, the better off I am. I don't know why they're going after Nick. We'll do uh, some more breach, multiple solutions. Pop that again. I didn't mean to hit that one button, but I whatever. Alright, whatever. Look how much health these people have right now. Two thousand five hundred and twenty health. Oh lord. Yeah, the, the last person that shouted. I, it just happens after a while. Usually it's the person who does the gun. But it's being on who's initiated last break right now. It happens on oil and long fights, I've noticed. Yeah, he stuck to Nick. I'm not exactly using a silenced gun here. Come on. Yeah, 
and look how strong our 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 weapons are now for uh our ranged Headshot. weapons. Headshot. Headshot. And we'll stab yeah. you. There we go, go back to him. Oop, we lose a turn. That's a okay. Stab him to death there and stab him. All right. Now, we've seen we've won this fight. I'm going to use these medkits on Dern just so you can see his full health in all its glory. Look at that. Look at that beautiful number right there. Look look at that beautiful number. We'll just end the turn just to just to admire that nice chunky number you see. Let's make this quick. Isn't that just great to look at? I did miss my chance to kill the boss, but I don't care. I just like I just like admiring that number that's being displayed to me right now. And as you can see, the leaders pay dividends over the course of long fights with that crazy damage rank they give. I got rewarded for my effort. Alright, guys. If you enjoyed that, Leave a comment, like the video, dislike the video, subscribe, and uh, that's all. My name is Immortal George on Discord if you ever want to talk to me, and it's the same on Steam as well. I should be the only Immortal George, uh, and I have a picture of like a weird looking face guy. Alright guys, that's all. Enjoy yourselves.